Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it will be for April 2021 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your overarching energy or message Leo for the month. What do we have for Leo please in terms of money, career, finances, April 2021 please. Message for Leo, okay we have... I've got the Three of Swords, Leo. I'm going to get another card with that one. Oh, two cards have popped out. Oh, okay. So we have the Strength card, which is you, and the Ten of Wands. And this is with the Three of Swords. Okay, message for Leo, please. Message for Leo, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Leo. Thank you. April 2021, money, career, finances. What is the message for Leo? Message for Leo. The neighbor is banging next door, so we'll just try and work through it, Leo. Hopefully it won't be too disruptive. So message for Leo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. For April 2021. Okay. Okay, I'll do a couple more shuffles if it doesn't fall out. Okay, we have. Okay, so I have Korea. You know, I love this energy. We have, it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. But it definitely says it is safe for you to receive. Okay, Leo. I'm going to pull five cards, so let's see what we get for you. So what do we have for Leo, please? In money and career only, thank you. April 2021, money and career only. For Leo, April 2021. Message for Leo. Okay, so it is Leo energy, but it's your challenge position. What's going for you, Leo? I love that. The Ace, sorry, the um, King of Swords, Aquarian energy. We have your ruler, the Sun, but that's your obstacle to overcome. And we have the Moon, advice from Spirit, yes. I like these two together. And Leo, oh my goodness, King of Coins. Look, Ace of Coins, bottom of the deck. Okay. Tough energy, Ten of Wands. There's sometimes you see on the ride away somebody bent over because they're carrying very much like Atlas, you know, who carried the world on their shoulders, feeling the pressures, the responsibility. Yeah. And it feels it's to do with something that has caused you hurt, tested you, you know. And there's definitely in these energies, because both of these are Saturnian energies, it's been difficult to break free of, to release from, you know. And I feel it's, I feel you've been putting a lot of effort and energy into this, er into this area um, in terms of money and career, Leo to break free but there's a feeling of i'm tired i'm exhausted you know when is it going to end well it's a 10 so the ending is absolutely imminent it feels in this situation you have an opportunity to release from the hurt 
the challenge, the test, the boundaries, the things that have kept you, um, yeah, feeling burdened. And it feels like, it just feels like you've been working so hard and you're still, you feel like you're still going through it. But the message is, you are going to come back to who you are. The strength card is a card of Leo. It is your major arcana card. So this is the big energy. Remember, these are minor arcana. And this is the big energy, the major arcana. So you trump this. You know, this is saying, stay in your power. When you connect to your inner power, your inner strength, your inner courage, you can face fears, adversity and overcome it. It's an eight, which is all about mastery and change. But it might well be for some of you, you also have to master the thought process here. This is also a card of mastering thoughts. So there's definitely this energy here, Leo, of just be careful of how you perceive things, think things, because that can really make you feel the burden, keep you within the feeling of uh, feeling of overwhelmed in some respects. You know, this is an energy of rising to a challenge and having the resoluteness and courage and power to overcome it. Yeah, it's, it is an energy of saying, yes, you, this is, has been challenging period for you, but you have the power and charisma. I have to say, there's a lot of charisma that goes with this card to overcome it. So this is about facing adversities, fears head on, and, you know, definitely having the power to reconnect to who you are come into your own and that's definitely what I'm feeling you are doing this month you are coming into your own because there's definitely an energy here of yes you have been through some of the worst conditions you can see this is on a, a high cliff edge you know we have you know the winds will pretty much hit this tree and it seems quite rocky I mean it's not a particularly abundant landscape there and yet there is growth there is the rainbow so I'm definitely getting, for some of you, it's the rainbow after the rain. There is growth here. You may have gone through some challenging conditions, but, you know, this is a tree, you know, you see the standing, the, the tree stands resolute, firm, because it plants firm foundations. There is definitely an energy of be strong within in order to really understand how to flourish in extreme climates in your external environment yeah message of it safe for you to receive is very beautiful because i do feel for some of you this month there is something coming your way and that's what the cards are saying yeah six of wands it feels for some of you that the victory hasn't been in sight it has been difficult to overcome some kind of challenge and put it behind you this is Leo energy, by the way, you know, and generally this is a card of victory, success, um, overcoming. But in this energy, Leo, it feels it you're still it feels like there's still an energy of, of going through it, you know, being on that treadmill, trying to break free of the thing that is causing you immense pressure, responsibility, burden. However, King of Swords, I mean, I kind of feel this is your energy in some ways. This is an energy of what's going for you and it's your mindset, which is why I'm saying just be careful of those thought patterns because our thoughts can really, you know, our thoughts, who we are, how we perceive things, what we allow ourselves to think about and dwell on can really, really play with our successes. So this is about somebody who has a vision and goes for it. This is crystal clear thinking, mental clarity, a vision, somebody who has a strategy, who can put a, a plan, plan into action. Um, so this can be an energy of put a game plan, a business plan um, can be put some kind of plan into action in order to fulfill some specific goal here. I also think for some of you, I mean, there could be some professional help or advice or somebody who is helping you this month. Um, male or female energy with the uh, King of Swords, 
But, you know, it could be some kind of intermediary. I mean, obviously, that could be things like a, a business consultant or advisor or recruitment consultant. You know, it can be that kind of, of energy of somebody who is very, very good at what they do. And it might well be for some of you, they're assisting you in some way, shape or form, you know, to further and achieve the goal that you set your sights on. So it might well be somebody is influential this week, this month um, in bringing some success your way. Because there's definitely an energy of the success is coming. The sun is coming out. You will overcome the obstacle that you have been challenged with. You will come through the other side of this in your power. And this is a feel-good energy. Things are about to look up. This is an energy of fun, seeing the fun of life, the positivity. Uh, this is also a card of success. Now, for some of you, Leo, um, what I'm getting in it is something might have been put on hold. Um... If there's been delays in any way, you know, which is why you haven't been able to move on. If something has been put on hold, there's definitely a message here that there is, it's brought, it's bringing, it is coming back to life here. It definitely feels in this situation, there's new life breathed into it. So it might well be if there's been something put on hold, it feels that there is some kind of new surge of activity coming. Surrender and trust. That's what you're being told by spirit. Surrender and trust. The doubt, the fear, the anxiety, the lack of clarity, you know, that you might experience. You don't know how things are going to pan out. You can have a game plan, put a plan into action. You can set your sights on what you need to, on the things that you need to do to achieve that goal. There may well be someone, you know, influential this month in helping you achieve that goal and it's all divinely guided here the sun and the moon is divinely guidance this is a card of hidden blessings even though you don't see the big picture the universe does and it will soon be revealed it will all become clear very soon so there is de a definitely an energy of surrender trust don't let those emotions those doubt those fears cloud your mind you know this is about staying strong, keeping your head, you know, facing those fears, those adversities and having the power and persuasion to overcome them. Because for some of you, again, you might be meeting a Taurus. I mean, this is Taurus, can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, or what the King of Coins represents. Somebody who is very successful, who understands how to manifest money, somebody who is at the top of their game, in terms of money career business in particular, they are successful. They understand how to use their practical skills to the best of their abilities and make success. Now I feel that there is a king of coins, male or female energy, it is a general reading, but I feel there is a king of coins here that you might be connecting with. If there's an energy of divinely divine timing, hidden blessings, everything will be revealed, everything will become clear. Now the king can make an offer, you know, he holds the pentacle energy here. <clears throat> so there could be somebody who you're connecting to, who may be influential in bringing the beginnings of new abundance your way, new success. Because we have the golden opportunity. This is can be an opportunity in terms of finances, career, money. So, you know, the King of Coins can also be an investor. So again, investment energy as well. If you're waiting for investment, this can be some new investment coming your way. Maybe you've been dealing with some kind of advisor and finally they've got some kind of investor. That could be that kind of energy as well. Um, but certainly somebody in business is offering you some opportunity and it is a new beginning. So it definitely feels like finally, by staying in your power, it is time for you to receive. And even in the harshest conditions, there is definitely the growth again, you know? Yeah, this is definitely an energy of, of really, you've been tested on discovering how strong you are, discovering how 
you know, you've had to face challenge, but I definitely get in this energy. The burden is soon to be over and the new is about to begin. And I'm seeing this tree again, you see in the background, just tying in with this card here. Um, I, I just feel that there is the beginnings of this new level of abundant energy. It definitely feels feel good. It feels good in terms of new jobs, new career paths, new business opportunities, investment as well for some of you. Um, can sometimes represent moving, relocating as well, Leo. That might resonate for you as well. But the golden opportunity is presenting itself. And you're being told everything will become clear. Just trust that it is going to. And don't let those emotions or thought patterns, you know, cloud what you need to do this month. Final message for Leo, please. Final message for Leo. Final message for Leo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final message for Leo. Thank you. Money and career, April 2021. Interesting. I had this for Aries. Yeah. I love the energy of sight because this is about, you know, this. it says detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control and focus on the things that you can and there are a lot of grounding energies here with the tree. Earth yourself, ground yourself, do the practical things that you need to do to bring this new opportunity, new door opening for you this month, because it is going to happen. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.